Welcome to the Mega Man X3 Let's Play. And yes, I am doing commentary for a reason for this game. My reason is because, uh, believe it or not, X3 is uh, my favorite of the uh, X series because I played this game a lot. And I'll explain more details on why I find it to be uh, my favorite of the X series. Uh, even though, you know, the music and the difficulty curve could be in the way, but I'll explain more. But first, uh, we ran into one of our allies who apparently has betrayed us. Ah, oh, Mac. Why did you decide to betray us? So yeah, I mean, X saves the world twice, and already we get abducted so easily. You know, maybe if we kept all the stuff from the past two games, none of this would have happened. And to the rescue is... Zero! Uh, so yeah, Zero does make his debut in this game. Unfortunately, uh, for Zero, you can't use him whenever you want. Uh, cause Zero has a limit in this game, where, uh... If he dies even once, uh... Uh, in the game, uh, while you're playing the game, uh, you can't use them uh, at all throughout the rest of the game. And if you want a super amazing upgrade, uh, you would keep Zero alive, and I'll explain more on that later. And cool thing is, Zero uh, has access to the Z Zebra, which is very overpowered. And we'll see right here, shot right there, Zebra shot here, boom, Mac is dead. Alright, let's re rescue X. Uh, so yeah So basically zero like uh, if you want uh, You know that super upgrade you want to keep them alive And then we just switch back to X As if nothing happened And now we're wall clinging and I wall clinged up there for a reason. Oh well and in typical Mega Man X fashion now we run into our sub boss which is pathetically easy. Like this giant move does absolutely nothing. And as I say that, I get hit right there. Yeah, so basically just uh, hit him with the, uh, you know, eh, buster shots here and there. Uh, the green shots, I call them lemons, cause you know, uh, just takes them out quicker. And I wanna finish him off with the full charge buster shot and he's already dead. Nice. So yes, I will go into further detail why uh, I find X3 to be uh, my favorite of the X series. At least between X1 and uh, X5. I'm not even including X6, 7, or 8 because I haven't played those and I intend not to. So basically the plot here is, you know, X and Zero, you know, have to save the world. Again, lovely. Alright, peace. Alright, now we're entering Blizzard Buffalo stage, and this should be the stage you should go after first, uh, just because of the upgrade uh, you get in this game. Uh, Tunnel Rhino would be another good candidate to go after first, right there, those uh, blocks right there could only be broken with the Ride Armor or uh, Tunnel Rhino's weapon, the Tornado Fang, uh, to get the heart piece right there, we can't get that yet, we're gonna have to backtrack for that. Uh, some of the backtracking uh, I'm gonna get off screen just for the sake of, you know, not wasting too much time. So yes, uh, the reason I find X3 to be my favorite of the X series, because believe it or not, I played this game so many times, uh, and I enjoyed it. Like, I kind of like the difficulty curve, because, you know, it rewards you for thinking outside the box, for playing, you know, smart, the way you are. You know, it's kind of the, it's just the, the way I like it. Like, you know, I keep mentioning the Sonic Heroes is my favorite, uh, Sonic game, because that game could be, uh, difficult too. Uh, just because of, you know, uh, the style it, it has, I get that, but I like, you know, I like games like that that reward you, uh, for the way you play, you know, if it's too difficult, and these enemies here take them out easily, 
Yeah, so a lot of these enemies do do a good chunk of damage because of the low health bar you have. So we have to collect hard tanks, of course. And, of course, we have to find... And, yes, we will... This is a 100% run right here. We're going to get everything. And this is going to be the only one time we're going to show off Zero. Uh, Zero cannot fight bosses, so don't think you can use him for boss fights. Uh, the point with Zero is uh, they intended you to use Zero, like, in the beginning, just to get yourself... Uh, started because you know zero has a big health bar and you can use them as a cushion you know before you know x gets you know more health and more power-ups now right here i'm switching to x because we're approaching a dr light capsule right here and this jump right here is kind of finicky it's a tough jump to get let's see if i get it on my first try and yes i do i was amazed i got that on my first try my test playthrough it took five tries and yes, another reason why you should do Blizzard Buffalo first is because you get access to the Air Dash. And my X2 playthrough, I got the Air Dash last uh, before we got to the uh, X Hunter stages. And I studied X3 very well, so we're going, you know what, let's get the Air Dash early. And in this game, you get Air Dash up, which is awesome. And now we're going to go back uh, to get the energy, uh, the sub tank that we just passed. So another reason why I should do this stage first, because I don't need to get the air dash, which makes uh, going through the levels a lot more fun, a lot more bearable. But, you know, you get the energy tank too, or sub tank. I keep getting them confused. Sub tank, energy tank. Ah, oh well. Yeah, this area is a real pain right here. Like, those enemies always spawn, those flying enemies with that shield. I hate them. Yeah, you got to air dash up to get the sub tank. Okay, we got it. Awesome. And now let's fill it up using that health right there. So there's a reason why I did that. So at least we got some health just in case the boss gives us a hard time. And yes, uh, yeah, the bosses could uh, do a good chunk of damage on you, you know, if you're not prepared. But, you know, I played this game so many times, I'm prepared for anything. So, yeah. Blizzard Buffalo. I like uh, I like the music in X3 also on certain stages. I know a lot of people dislike the music, think it's terrible compared to X1. X1 soundtrack is legendary. Nothing can compete against it. I mean, I love that soundtrack too, but eh, X3, it's grown on me. I like the music, so yeah. And now we're approaching our boss, which is Blizzard Buffalo. Get a cheap shot on him with the charge shot right here. Blizzard Buffalo actually is really simple to take down. He's got a predictable pattern. Uh, for Blizzard Buffalo, you want to shoot him with a charge shot, uh, charge shot, not a full charge shot, because you won't have enough time. But at least uh, a secondary shot. Uh, I call them lemon shots. Uh, the green shots, you just call them lemons. And that's the pattern you want Blizzard Buffalo to do, which is the uh, the frost shield attack, because that's when you can get the most. Uh, you know, Buster shots does three damage to him. And with the uh, with the air dash, this fight is much easier because you know you have the luxury of not only air dash uh, air dashing to the wall, but you can also get that extra distance like that rather than just wall clinging and wall jumping, which you know dash jumping, which gives you a, a small distance. And of course, you got using frost shield again easy to avoid just cling to the wall yeah so just keep shooting uh blizzard buffalo over and over again it's a tedious fight because you know it's buster only but what can you do and he's doing his ice attack which does no damage but it does freeze you in ice and blizzard buffalo uh does a lot of damage on physical contact and eh, but he's really easy to take down once you know his pattern i find his pattern to be way more uh easy to remember than tunnel rhinos because Tunnel Rhino does have an annoying pattern, and we'll get to that when we get to that uh, stage. And yeah, this is basically the fight. Uh, not too difficult, you know what you're doing. Yeah, the Air Dash really helps a lot with all these bosses, because, you know, you can just cling to the wall, jump, and jump over them to avoid certain attacks. And he's done. I got hit there, but whatever. And he is dead. Eh, it took longer than normal, but eh, it's okay. Hey, better be safe than sorry. And now we get access to Frost Shield, and I'll show it off in the next stage. And Frost Shield is a very useful weapon. 
trust me on this, the weapons in X3 are very useful, and I'll explain along the way. Later. Alright, now we're entering Toxic Seahorses stage. And I hate those enemies right there, those mook enemies. We'll run into them later in the game. They take a ton of damage. But first, we're showing off the Frost Shield. A lot of people think the Frost Shield is a worthless weapon. It's not. The Frost Shield is actually very broken in this game. Because if you hit an enemy, like, if you hit a, uh, certain enemies, like 95% of the time, or 100% of the time, you're guaranteed uh, health. It's a quick way to fill your your sub tanks, and now and now uh, we can proceed with the rest of the level. Uh, yes, I mean I have complained in the past that uh, I do dis uh, dislike uh, vertical climbing sections. However, that's in the classic Mega Man series. In the X series, I find uh, I have no problem with them because in the X series you have wall clinging, which is a mechanic that's designed for vertical climbing. So I have no problem with it. Call me a hypocrite if you want, but you know. For classic Mega Man, I dislike vertical climbing sections because Mega classic Mega Man cannot wall cling. But for X, especially in X3 where they have a lot of vertical climbing uh, movements, uh, I don't mind it one bit. It's simple, and we have a hard piece. That's the only hard tank that's easy to get without a certain upgrade or certain, uh, you know, either an upgrade or a, a robot Mavericks weapon. So Toxic Seahorse's stage is basically simple, not too difficult. Uh, the music's really unique, I really do like uh, this track. And there's a right armor piece uh, actually up there. There is a, uh, the method I, I use to get that right armor piece is uh, having a frost, having frost shield being a charge uh, frost shield, but we need the arm upgrade for that and get it up there easily. There's another method to get it where you actually have to jump on water. I find that method more complicated and I'm just going to say, you know what, I'll backtrack for that uh, later just to get that right armor piece. And now we got our mini boss. Simple to take down. Uh, the tentacles do actually do not hurt you, which is odd. Uh, but the missiles do, but not a big deal. Mm, so yeah, the stage is very simple. Uh, so what I was trying to say is that, uh, yes, I mean, I don't mind the vertical climbing in X3. It has a lot of it. But, you know, uh, I'm used to it, so yeah. And the sub-boss is dead. Weak the ice. Yes. Uh, the robot Maverick also is weak the ice, just to clarify that. Alright. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm also accustomed to the route I'm taking, like, uh, like I'll explain more when we get to our next robot, uh, Maverick, uh, but right here, use Frost Shield. Like I said, not all enemies drop health or anything, uh, I think those enemies don't drop health, uh, those enemies that shoot those projectiles that are on the wall, I think those are the only ones that don't give you health, everything else does, uh, so that's unique. Robot enemies, yeah, they're kind of annoying. There's actually a way to uh, downgrade them, but you gotta defeat us. Uh, but you gotta defeat Blast Hornet uh, to get them to be downgraded. And Blast Hornet is difficult to take down without its weakness, especially with our small health. So we're not gonna do that, but they're no issue. And like I said, the air dash makes everything fun. And we're already at the boss. Toxic Seahorse is actually pathetically easy with this weakness. Because he always staggers back and forth. Like, I believe Toxic Seahorse and another Robot Maverick are the only ones where you hit them with their weakness. They reset their patterns, making them easy to hit them again with their weaknesses. They're the only ones to do that. So yeah, Toxic Seahorse, not a threat whatsoever. I got hit there, oh well. I got hit again. This is rare. I hardly get hit there. I got hit again and with the Acid Burst. Wow. I rarely get hit by that acid attack, and he is dead. 
Yeah, frost shield, one of the things that is a problem is you can only fire two at a time. And you have to wait for the the crystal for the fog to uh to uh to uh to, uh, to uh, melt away before you can fire another frost shield, so don't depend too much on it.